Hey ladies, it's me. It is nine o'clock on Sunday night, and I thought I would hop on here and do a quick review of week number one. Let me make sure that you can hear me okay here. Hang on just one second. Week number one. Yay! I love that my phone is working. So as you guys hop on, I'm super excited um, about going through uh, Seamless with you and having a fun discussion. Um, I just, you know, want, I know we are watching Angie Smith's videos, and um, the last time we did Seamless, which is our very first study with Beautifully Designed, that's when the Lord brought 9,000 women to this amazing page, um, we actually were able to kind of embed the videos and do some discussions with the videos. But this time, I'm just post posting Angie's videos, and you can watch any time, um, but I thought it would be fun once a week to hop on here live um, and be able to kind of share my heart with you about the week and then also you can ask questions I wish so bad that Facebook would create a Facebook live where we could interact and talk to each other that would be amazing but until um, Facebook creates that um, we will have to do this little Facebook live and then you can ask questions um, you can type out your questions so as everybody hops on I wanted to, to talk to you just for a second about a uh, about the Bible um, I get so many questions from you and, and other women about what version of the Bible that um, I use, and they ask questions about what version of the Bible is best. And here's what I believe. Um, there are lots of great versions of the Bible out there, and you've got to find the best fit for you. Um, I know my best friend Donna, and she's on our ministry team. She loves King James Version, and that is the, the version that she loves and that she she reads and she prefers. Um, I actually have been reading out of the English Standard Version of the Bible for the last um, 10 years, and I have loved it. Um, but I want to share with you a quick new version that... Um, has just came out through Lifeway, and it's with the group called She Reads Truth. And She Reads Truth is, um, they have a little website, they have an app and things like that, but they literally just, they read the Bible every day. Like, that's what they do. It's pretty amazing. Um, and they have a big influence of people all over, um, and they're connected with Lifeway. And I love their group. Um, so they have actually created a Bible um, with b &H Publishing with Lifeway, and it's called She Reads Truth, and it's the Christian Standard Version. This is a very close version of the Bible to the King James Version. I feel like it's the closest to the King's James, King James Version um, that I've read in a long time. English Standard is pretty close, too. That's why I really like the English Standard. But I wanted to show you what this Bible looked like. It's, it's, it's pretty thick. Um, it's the She Reads Truth Christian Standard Version. Um, I love it. And the reason I love it is I want to read you my favorite scripture out of it. Psalm 139, 13 says this. For, and this is, the, this is the Christian Standard Version. For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wondrously made. Your works are wondrous, and I know this very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret, when I was formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. All my days were written in your book and planned before a single one of them began. So I love this version of the Bible. I want to show you really quick is that there is also a place for you to write on this side, which I love. Because if you see my Bible here, this is my Bible, and it's actually, I need to get it rebound. Um, but I write a lot in my Bible. Um, I write notes to my boys um, all throughout. And so I love that in this particular version, in this Bible, you can write. Also, in the She Reads Truth Christian Standard Version Bible, there's devotionals throughout. So you can flip to, like, if I flip to, I think I flipped to Timothy. You can see there's an art aspect of it, which is really cool. And then there's a devotional that talks a little bit more about 2 Timothy so you can understand it. And there's also maps, kind of like what we're doing in Seamless. So I just wanted to share a little bit. I really love it, and I am kind of a Bible snob. I love my English Standard Version. Um, this has been shown a lot of love through the years, and I will always carry this to church, of course, and write in it and write my notes to the boys. So one day when I'm gone, 
they've got Mama's Bible with notes and dates and stuff for them. Um, but what I love about this is I love this as a study Bible. So I'm going to use this as my study Bible. Um, so that is my review on the She Reads Truth Christian Standard Version. You can go to Lifeway.com. Um, you can get it on Amazon. You can go into Lifeway and buy it so you don't have to pay shipping. So um, Lifeway carries them. And I think, I'm sure like Barnes & Noble, think places like that probably carry them. So anyway, so let's dive in. And it comes in this cool little case. So you can keep it, you know, protected, which is really cool because I have boys and they're sticky. So um, we are going to dive into Seamless Week 1. If you've got your workbook with you, when you turn to page 34 is the actual review week one homework. And I'm going to just cover a couple of questions on here. I hope that, you know, maybe you're behind and you need to catch up, which is totally fine. Um, this is, you know, you can do this at your own pace. Um, but dive right in. Um, try, to, try to get done when you're supposed to get done. That way you're not too far behind from us. Um, but it's okay if you are behind. It's totally fine. Um, but what I love about um, week one of Seamless, I'm going to turn my volume off of my computer. What I love about week one of Seamless is it just sets the stage. And I will never forget reading it in 2015 and then reading it this week. Just so many things that God revealed to me. Um, so when you turn to page 34, we're going to answer some of those questions. But I will just tell you one thing that I believe that the Lord has used this study in my life is the very first part um, on, on day two, week one, day two, where she talks about creation.